Hi, welcome to this makeup video. Um, what I've done is I've already used some uh, medication on my face um, for my blemishes, and I used the Maybelline Dream Pure BB Cream. Um, I wasn't sure if this was my color, um, but it looks like it. It's a little bit light for me. It's like one shade too light. But um, I'm going to do a second layer anyway. Um, so I'm just going to put this onto my hand like so. Um, I really like this BB cream. The more I wore it, the more I got used to it. And it has um, medication in it. It's salicylic 2% um, for acne treatment listed as the purpose. So, when I first started to wear makeup, I wore, um, I believe it was Neutrogena um, Skin Clearing Medicine for people with um, blemishes and breakouts. And then I used the Almay Acne Medicated Foundation Concealer and Powder. And then I like switched to CoverGirl and Maybelline. I think I wore the Almay so much, my skin got really sensitive because it has um, salicylic acid in it to help pimples. But after I wore it for a while, my skin, like, it got pretty sensitive. So I had to switch to a non-acne one. Acne medicated or blemish. Medicated foundation. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is use concealer. And I have some dry spots, like especially on my nose. I have a dry patch there today. Oh my goodness, I'm like peeling. My nose is peeling. Okay, anyways. I got this new um, lipstick. It's by Burt's Bees. It's a lip crayon. It's 100% natural. And I'll talk about this product um, later on in the video. I opened it yesterday and I wore it. And so it just kind of looks like that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go on to concealer. And it does look a shade too light for me. So, I'm going to go on to concealer. I'm going to use my favorite concealer. This is the CoverGirl. Um, I believe it's the Clean Invisible Concealer. Yeah, Clean Invisible Concealer right there. It says, right there if you can tell. Okay. So, um... I'm just going to put this on to the back of my hand here. And use this under my eyes. And It's always a good idea to be very gentle around the eye area. Okay, so today I guess I'm just spreading this down my face. And the past couple days I've been liking to cover up um, blemishes with this concealer. Um, just to try to help and conceal wherever I have breakouts. And all the way, and um, so I'm just going to use this where I have dark spots or blemishes just to help and conceal those. Put that back in there.
So next I'm going to use some more concealer just to dip back into the wand thing. And I have um, dark circles under my eyes and I've been really trying to um, figure out a way that I could still use this concealer um, just to cover my eye area. I feel like I need a little bit of bronzer. <sighs> okay. That. So I'm just going to grab my um, powder. I'll be right back. Oopsie. I need the bang the camera. Okay. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. What's happened? Okay, i got to fix this here. Okay, so that's going after and probably solicitor. I'll be right back. I was right, no one was there. So. I'm going to use my powder. I have here. And I have the CoverGirl Clean Glow Bronzer and Spices. Um, but first I'm going to use this bronzer here. This is um, Iced Cappuccino. And I want to try to use this as a contour. I know it's a blush. Yeah, it's a blush. It has a hint of red undertone to it, but I just wanted to give this a try as a contour color. Oh, now I have a spot on my face. So my foundation looks pretty matte. So that has a bit of a red undertone to it, so I'm just going to use this um, uh, special. 
Spices bronzer from the CoverGirl Clean Collection. Just swirling this around. I hope this will give me the cover, the color that I need. <laughs> A little bit more here. You can see me. The lighting's a little bit bright. Let me try to change that for you. Is that better? Now it's really dark. Oh well. How's that? Okay, now I'm all blurry. Come on, camera. Oh, I guess I don't have the right lighting. Okay, let me turn on my big overhead light again. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, hopefully that will work. And I'm gonna use a bit of bronzer. My down here just face look a bit framed and then if you wanted to color match you can always just you know do the bronzer or makeup thing all down there <laughs> but I don't really do that I imagine people do it for like special occasions Okay, in person, that looks like a close color match. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use this blush. This is the Maybelline New York Master Glaze Face Studio. This is the color Pink Fever. And when I first got it, it came with like this kind of um, like a cloudish color on top. Um, it's just like a coating, I guess. And the color, it actually looks like this so it looks like that it looks like a big lipstick but it's not <laughs> I guess you could use it on your lips if you wanted I think I saw a Maybelline video on it so I'm just gonna draw it on like this okay put the top back on I want to dry out and I'm just using my pinky finger and I'm just gonna rub in circular motions well it sounds like there's a helicopter outside okay And I'm going to use a highlight color today. So this is called Snow Plum. It's a CoverGirl Cheapers. Just looks like this. Do, 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 do. Kind of softens the blush I have down there a bit. And it just makes the face look a bit more matte. I'm going to try to use some. Well, here. Like right there. Mm -hmm. 
it looks a little bit different than it does in person than it does on the screen. But I guess it depends all on how the lighting is. So I guess it's not so much how the makeup looks. It depends on the lighting. So I know this makeup doesn't say HD or anything. But in person it looks like it would be nice. Like I mean on the screen when I saw it. It looks like it would be nice. But it's just the lighting is really bright. So. I don't think it's the makeup, I think it's just lighting that makes pictures look like how people look in pictures. So, what I'm going to use next is this um, Burt's Bees. I think I'll make another video of a product review. Oh, wait a minute. I need mascara first. What am I thinking? Okay, so... Go like this. Be very gentle with mascara because that's just my best. So I'm going to use this 100% natural lip crayon by Bird's Bees. I wore it yesterday and I feel like it nourished my lips pretty well. So. It's already added, already added some color to my lips, and I'm just lining on the outside of my lips. And now I'm just gonna. Oh, this color, by the way, this is the color Niagara Overlook. And I tried to pick out a color that as close to my natural lip color and I wore it for the first time yesterday and it felt really nice I wore it over the color Shiva so the color turned out to be um, a bit different but how do I fix this? the color turned out to be um, a bit different so this is what it will look like, and I like it. So I'm going to go on to another video and make a review on this um, special lip crayon that I have, um, lipstick, whatever. So, yeah, um, if you want, you can subscribe to my channel, um, and you can learn all about me and how I like to live my, the most vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free lifestyle that I can. So, yeah, just click subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time, and if you want, you can tune into my other videos, and I want to say thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for checking out my channel. I appreciate it so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. <laughs>